and it's it's difficult for a band to be able to stay engaged, in my opinion, when you see a bunch of people sitting down versus one, the ones that are getting up on the dance right. floor and coming toward the stage. And the more people that are coming to the stage, I'm assuming... That gives us energy. Yeah. But it's, you know, did they come first or the chicken? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. It's our job to give the people something that makes them want to get up. Right. You know, so that works both ways. But if it's... Like New Year's Eve mm-hmm. last year when we played there, from the time we started, oh, and yeah. that just that makes anything you do easier. Oh yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, well, then you don't have to focus your attention on trying to get them up there now, but the focus goes to how do you keep them out there? Well, and and everything you do <clears throat> works, as right. opposed to you know, anytime you can engage, get eye contact, mm-hmm. it's always going to help. And well, we'll talk about that also. But we have you New Year's Eve this year too, as well, right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. So um, we talked about that. That was a great topic. I thought just to you know anybody that's out there listening, get up and support these bands by being off your feet. Give them the energy. Let them feel that vibe. The only thing I tried to explain is when you're up on that stage, it's hard to see the faces of the people at the tables. Yeah. So you can't tell if they're eating, if they're engaged at all, interested, talking amongst themselves. It's hard to be able to see that focus. So once they're out on the dance floor, it gets easier to see their face and, you know, go up and have vibes. So I thought that's, uh, so that was last week. We also had live band karaoke Wednesday with Shannon Cobb. We had Animals, the Maroon 5 tribute out there Thursday. They're getting more and more popular. I don't know if you've ever heard them. I know it's hard if you're in a band to, they are the epitome of Maroon 5. Their voice is everything. You know, back, three years ago I was going you know there's really no new people or new bands mm-hmm. every new band's just regurgitated members from other bands that, yep. but now there's some new bands that are good yeah, I don't know the, where that happened but it, the great it came thing on. is I'm trying to this year the focus was at Fat Daddy's was to try to book other bands that really you know like Jeff Bernstein this guy's got a U2 tribute band but bring in bands that are outside the norm Mm -hmm. just to give these other bands an opportunity to showcase themselves but give the guests something new to kind of engage with and find something but the thing bands have to remember is it's a business before like if you play drums if you're a singer if you're a musician if you're a magician that's your tool that you bring Mm -hmm. you're an entertainer is your job so um, I've talked to Rick Hare. Rick Hare, when he was out, he, he said the same thing. You know, like, our right. job is we're putting on a, per, a performance. You know, 